Oh, hello, Robert Colby here. Um, just another quick review of uh, multimeter. I thought this time I'd actually go for the uh, other end of the spectrum. And uh, so sort of a, a bit of a cheapie here, the Mastic uh, MS8268A. And look, that ended up coming into Australia for about uh, $60. And uh, look, it, it's quite a heavily featured uh, multimeter. Uh, obviously, they are really building it down to a price so uh, there are some things that are sort of quite nice look I noticed uh, literally I've just opened it up and put some batteries in and uh, just a nice little feature where the uh, screws go in they actually have a, a metal threaded insert so that's it's a nice feature so you know you can know that you're not going to end up uh, stripping the threads there after putting the batteries in uh, rather interestingly, it has a resettable 10 amp fuse, but uh, um, that's a sort of certainly a bit of an unusual feature. And uh, inside the battery compartment is the is a high rupture capacity ceramic type fuse for the lower ranges. A um, couple of features I thought were quite nice. Um, when you switch the uh, device on. It uh, puts a little lead up behind the, um, you know, which are the correct terminals. There's no sort of uh, shutter going across, occluding you from putting the terminals in the wrong one. But uh, look, that certainly just does help you to try and reduce, you know, silly mistakes. Um, I suppose with a, a cheap meter, it sort of comes with slightly cheapy leads. Um, you know, they're not not the world's most pliable leads, um, reasonably sharp on the tips. Probably the uh, one feature I, I don't like the most about it is the, is the, the feel of when you uh, plug into the, the meter. It certainly has got a sort of a quite a loose feel and um, I don't know I'd be very happy putting anything much more than an amp or so through these connectors. They do feel a little bit dodgy. Um, they, they don't sit well. Um, actually, one of the things I might do is just grab a, another actually decent set of leads. This is some of those parrot beak leads. And just try that in there. Ah, so that's actually a much better feel. So... Um, so I don't think it's the actual socket. I think it is actually the uh, the plug on the lead. So if you are considering one of these, I reckon getting a new set of leads might uh, make things quite a lot better. It is look fully featured, you know, sort of does AC, DC volts, current, even goes down to uh, microamps, they say. Um, I just put it up against a DMM uh, check plus two. And uh, look, it actually was pretty accurate. Um, I haven't done anything too sort of crazy with it. Um, you know, theoretically, it says it's category 2,000 volts. Um, gee, I'd be a little bit careful about that. But uh, look, to be honest, I don't go sticking multimeters on the big voltage too often myself. But um, look, value for money, really up there. But um, look, certainly... Uh, you know, just the, the build quality is not ideal, but uh, gee, value for money. Can't beat that. All right, just a quick review, but uh, thanks, guys. Bye-bye.